Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be showing just a demonstration on one of the products that's in the look bag this month. Um, the look bag is a service through the look store. It's a US only type of service, but um, it's like a beauty club. So for like $12.95 a month, you'll get at least two full size and three deluxe sample size beauty products. Um, and so you, you don't really know what you'll get every month, so it's kind of like full of surprises. And this month, one of the products they had in there was a nail-related product, and it was this. It's Pop Beauty, and it is a crackle polish. So um, for those of you that aren't, uh, aren't familiar with crackle polishes, um, that's what I'm going to show you today is just demonstration how to use it and um, give you a couple of ideas on how. So I've painted my nails with all different colors to kind of give you different ideas on each nail. What you'll do is you want to have your polish on your nails to be completely dry before you apply this. And what you'll do, just apply it with very few brush strokes. If you can try to avoid going over any area more than once, that's best. Thin layers are best. And then you just give it some time and it'll crack. As you can see within seconds, it's already doing lots of crackling. And it'll take a couple of minutes for it to do the full effect, okay? so. The reason you want your polish to be dry underneath is because as this starts to crack and separate, if your polish underneath is wet, it'll start to pull that part, polish apart too, and then you'll start to see almost your bare nail underneath. So that's why you'll want to do it that way. So now you can use it over your full nail like that. It looks great over glitters and metallics, and I'm going to be showing you that next. And then you can even use it um, just to do regular nail art, which is also kind of fun. So let me go ahead and show you over glitter. And while that's doing its crackling, I'm going to go ahead and show you another way. On the pinky, I have a, a silver polish. And what you can do is take this and do even just a simple stripe down the center. That's not exactly the center, but leaving the sides still silver, okay? And you can accent it later with other things. But while we're cracking, you can see here's the over the glitter. It really looks neat over glitter polishes. You'll still want to go ahead and put a top coat over that. Sometimes the, the polish, the crackle polishes have somewhat of a matte finish, not a shine finish. And so it'll have kind of a duller effect until you get top coat over it. But we're going to be doing that in just a minute. Another fun way to, to use this is if we started here at a top corner of our nail and then just swipe it across going at an angle. Again, trying not to go over more than once or twice. You can get your kind of half and half nail effect. Okay. And let it do its thing. And if you have a hard time making a straight line, you could take a, a lining polish, do like this to sort of finish off the line to make it nice and straight. And then even just add another little line here. Okay. And then what we're, we can do here also is we can accent with some rhinestones or something like that. And the way I would do that is take just some top coat and a dotting tool. Dab just a little bit of top coat on your dotting tool and make small dots where you want to put your rhinestone accents. Okay. And then leaving a little bit of that top coat on your dotting tool, you, you can pick up rhinestones of any size that you like. I'm going to pick up a rhinestone and just place it down. Okay, so there's the rhinestones. And we can for some more fun, I have a little flower-shaped pink rhinestone, and I'm going to put that right at the base of my nail over this black crackle stripe that I have. And it gives a cute 
accent to, you know, the dark crackle against the metallic. Okay? Now one last way we is, on my thumb here I've got a nice pink color, and what we can do is just an accented tip. Now that that tip has done its crackling, we can line that with a fun silver glitter liner. And so I take that silver glitter and just kind of draw it along the lines. And that will also clean up that little edge of where I was drawing and didn't quite get it right. And then you've got this nice tip. Now if you have, you know, nail stickers or nail stamps or whatever, you could put some images here to really highlight it or leave it the way it is, however you like it. But there's plenty of ways to use this stuff. So now let's go ahead and place some top coat over the top of that. So there you have it, five quick and easy ideas for using this really cool black crackle polish from your October look bag. I hope this has helped you to understand the product a little better and see how much fun you can have with it. But that's it for this. If you want more information about the look bag service or to find items from the look store, please go follow the links I will have in the description box. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you more products that will be coming in the coming months. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.